This episode brought to you by Stamps.com. Why go to the store to get stamps when you can have them printed right at home for your convenience? nostalgia critic I remember it so you don't have to <sighs> wrapping up these movies is like that scene of the green goblin terrorizing Aunt May finish it finish it oh, evil. <laughs> bro chip the last final and end of the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. I know those mean the same thing, just God, it's so calming to say. These movies have become such a cheap movie night for people wanting to unload their kids somewhere that it was actually released the same weekend as Star Wars The Force Awakens. Yep, this was the pity movie you took your children to if the actual movie they wanted to see was sold out. Not promising, but not surprising either. In this fourth installment of the Chipmunks saga, they went from a forest, to a concert hall, to stranded on an island, to a car. I don't know, this was the only pun they could think up in the 20 seconds it took them to write the script. Seeing how this one went out with such a whimper against Star Wars opening weekend, I figure this one deserves the same underwhelming bow out. Ring ring ring, what's that nostalgia great cast? Yes, I'm not even using you because I want to give this movie so little attention. Click. Guess I'll get drunk. So let's finish this out not with a bang, but with a bull, which is more than this movie deserves. Let's take a look for the final time at an Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. Road chip. Are we rolling? Okay, we're rolling. Theodore is live streaming his snuff films now. What that mean? This is actually a birthday message for Dave slash going away party for the Chipettes slash excuse for Alvin to throw a big party slash lamest reason yet to open a film with a song number slash 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 them all! Happy birthday, Dave! Woo hoo! Red Foo is here! Mm hmm, this cameo's putting my kid through college. All it cost me was survival therapy with David Cross. Happy birthday, Dwayne! It's Dave! That appearance was so awkward, why don't you just have Shaggy and Scooby shine a spotlight on it? Dave, played again by Jason Lee, returns home angry as hell and kicks everybody out. Were you surprised? No, I wasn't surprised, because hashtag Dave's party was trending on Twitter. Well, Mr. Coulier is quite the party animal. But I thought you guys were old enough to take care of yourselves. We are very mature. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pizza toots. What would the early chipmunks be like if they just embraced the fart joke? <laughs> I want to spend as much time with you guys as I can before I have to go to Ashley's album release in Miami. You got another on the soundtrack. Impact something! The next day, Dave takes them mini golfing. That showed him. As a bully named Miles, played by Josh Green, ruins their fun. Ouch! What are you gonna do? We will continue this conversation when I'm back. <gasps> oh, damn it! Actually, got a laugh out of me. I better put in the photo album of moments that are actually funny from these films. This is Samantha. Sam, these are my boys. Oh, hey. <laughs> she's not Anna Ferris, but I think she's Anna Ferris. You're a doctor? I am. Did Dave mention that? You're wearing a stethoscope. <sighs> yes, I am. She has a look like, yeah, they wrote that in. I also have a nurse who always leaves her big red cross hat on. She's dating a plumber who always takes his plunger everywhere. My job's more than my occupation, it's my entire character. Oh, and this is my son, Miles. What? Hey, you guys having fun? Yeah, just getting some time candy. <laughs> this is not my idea of fun. No oh, boys always picking on kids smaller than them. And by boys, I mean 23 years old. What's this guy doing mocking children half his age? Animal children. Celebrity animal children. Everything about this is weird. Get us back our brother. I just paid 20 bucks for it. I also sing. I like Theodore's butt preferences concerns me not. 
Dave decides to look after Miles, you know, both of them being legal adults, as they drop by the recording studio where he gets the hots for a singer named Ashley. I thought you were like super famous or something. One day you're throwing back pink lemonades on Diddy's yacht in San Tropez. The next you're being confused for one of Chewbacca's toes. It's a tough life. Dave returns home asking the boys what they thought of Samantha. So what'd you guys think of Samantha? Oh, she's awesome. We loved her. Ooh, leftovers. You still talking about Samantha? The boys find an engagement ring suspecting that Dave is gonna ask her to marry him. Which means Miles will be their brother. So they get rid of the ring to stop the wedding because that's how it works, but Dave is heading out of town with her and it looks like Miles is gonna be the babysitter. Have a great weekend, guys and boys. Try to show me you can handle some independence, okay? Show me you can do a full movie without a fart joke, I ain't too high. They tell Miles about Dave's plan to propose and similar to them, he doesn't like it. I mean, would you want the Rhapsody Street Kids version of Chippendale as your siblings? Hello, boys. But someone remembered Jennifer Coolidge was a thing, so she suddenly enters the picture. I'm supposed to be keeping an eye on you, so I think I'll use this one. They called someone to babysit the babysitter? If these genders were reversed, this would be a horror film. They switch themselves out with squirrels to fool her, which I'm not gonna lie, I want this animation as my desktop, as the boys get a ticket to Miami to stop Dave from proposing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Stuffed Alvin doll. I'm gonna need to see what's in that backpack, please. Oh no. Crazy eyes, don't ask her about toilet privileges. This is Alvin, he can twist, like Linda Blair almost. <laughs> <laughs> Dead, now we know why this is the last one. She does a body search though, with Simon hiding in his pants, wetting himself. Because pee pee is funny. That's not mine. You just holding it for a friend? I'll be damned, they made pee pee funny. Stop convincing me effort went into this! I don't get paid enough. The fact that you're in this film is proof of that. They get on the plane where Alvin sits next to John Waters. Kids love a good John Waters joke. I recently flew next to the Chipeth, and they were ladies. Don't judge me. I saw pink flamingos. I do judge you. You did the same thing from pink flamingos. I'm mentioning pink flamingos in an Alvin and the Chipmunk movie! But Theodore accidentally releases all the animals down below, who the shit brings a goat on a flight, and an air marshal arrests them. What could we possibly have done to make you hate us so much? I'll tell you what you did. Whoa, did I just die and this is the movie they show in hell? Where the hell did this come from? This guy had a minute of screen time and now he has a flashback? And on top of that, he suddenly becomes one of the main characters. All of this comes right the hell out of nowhere. Merry I'm Christmas. breaking up with you. What? And the chipmunks. Grow up, James. <laughs> well, nice to know John Waters and David Lynch finally did a crossover. You provided the soundtrack to my heartbreak. But now it's payback time. Yeah, and John Williams scored The Phantom Menace. I don't blame him for that. No, I don't. They're put on the no-fly list as they escape into a cab with the air marshal following. I wish I could help you out, but I got a bar packed with people waiting to hear a band whose singer is stuck 50 miles from here with a flat tire. And to make things worse, they were chipmunks. That's very important to point out. So you can guess where this is going. Love to live in that parallel dimension. Now we're given another song number, but the air marshal locates them in the middle of it. I have a reason to believe there's a fugitive chipmunk in your beard. Wasn't that the last line in Titanic? A barroom brawl starts as the chipmunks escape but have nowhere to go. People look out for themselves. What, you think my dad was thinking about anyone other than himself when he left me and my mom? You're the road chip! Nobody gives a shit! You left when I was only five. If Dave and your mom end up together, He's a good person. You came out during Star Wars! <sighs> Look, Dad's overrated. Eventually, you will get over him leaving. Star Wars! <laughs> Nothing but Star Wars! The next morning, they continue their journey. Talking about him now. That's right, just keep walking like you don't want to kill yourself. I saw you eye that river, it's not deep enough to finish you off. The air marshal finds them again. How many planes is he missing tracking these pests down? As they run into, let me guess, another song sequence? Let's just call this soundtrack with a movie if you're lucky. And without a movie if you're really lucky. Hi, Doug Walker here, and I'm here to tell you about Stamps.com. Uh, 
No one really has time to go to the post office. You're busy. Who's got time for all that traffic, parking, lugging around your mail and packages? It's a real hassle explanation point. I think I'm supposed to leave that out. That's why you need Stamps.com, one of the most popular time-saving tools for small businesses. Stamps.com eliminates trips to the post office and, in all caps, saves you money with discounts that you can't even get at the post office. They said post office twice, but, but there's another explanation point, so that's good. Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the services... I, let me try it again. Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the U.S. post office right to your computer. Oh, that's nice. Whether you're a small office sending invoices, an online seller shipping out products or even a warehouse sending thousands of packages a day stamps.com can handle it all with ease i can't do it i'm sorry i i, I thought you know maybe i could just do what other videos do you know they sit down they just read the little thing and that's it you know they don't have to do much but i just it's stamps it's stamps.com and i can't just read it to you you deserve because it's stamps.com! You deserve big music! Like that! You deserve me getting really loud and emotional! Like this! You deserve it all! You at home, you deserve stamps.com! I don't need this! I don't need this at all! I can tell you exactly why it's so fantastic! But there are some bullet points, I'm supposed to read off that, so uh, give me a minute. Oh god, I was not thinking. Screw it! We'll do it live! I can't do it live. I'm starting to see why people just read these. Simply use your computer to print official US postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send. Once your mail is ready, just hand it to your mail carrier or drop it off at any mailbox. It's that simple, isn't that right, Epic Music? That's epic! With stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail! That deserves an explosion! Not to mention it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters! If that's not amazing! I mean, okay, it's not amazing, but, but it's, it's amazingly convenient! That, that is amazing! Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money, and that is in all caps. It's no wonder over 700,000 businesses use Stamps.com. But that's not all. This part I don't need that paper for. Right now, there's a special offer! It includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in Nostalgia. That's Stamps.com, click at the microphone at the top of the homepage, and enter Nostalgia. Do it because you deserve it. You deserve Stamps.com! And you know what? They deserve you. I can't believe I said something so beautiful. Two stamps and light! That's vitamin water. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in nostalgia to claim your special offer today. Because you're worth it. I love you. Next morning, the boys continue walking, carrying several beads, so they've shown their tits, as the air marshal wakes up in a hotel room. Thugs! Who are you? It's Vito, the uh. band's manager. Oh no, not another New Orleans band I banged! They finally meet up with Dave and Samantha at the airport, who are so unhappy with them that they take them on their trip to Miami. Do they have any idea how to punish their kids? Because of you three, I might not even get to the record release. What's next, taking them to Chuck E. Cheese's? It's a rodent with games! That is the only two things they know! I just needed a little snack to get me from lunch to dinner. Look what I want! Isn't he cute? Well, this is more surprising than the time I took him to Disneyland to find a toothpick. How do these things happen? They make it to Miami, where they abandon them again while they go out to dinner. The Manson family was more of a unit than you! Good luck proposing without this! But Alvin steals the engagement ring, which calls for celebrating with, oh Christ, another song! Turn down the rap! I never thought I'd say this, but a rapping dog on the Titanic is making more sense for a musical number. But Miles feels bummed out because he thought he would actually have a daddy. Yaw, how emotional. You're road ship! Oh, watch out! 
Yeah, Theodore saves him from a car, though, and it looks like it did quite a bit of damage. Theo, Theodore, get up, please! <gasps> no! Yeah, I remember all the reviews I read that said this movie sucks, but they had the balls to kill Theodore. It's like when Fred Flintstone insisted he bury Barney. Everyone remembers where they were. <gasps> but Jesus! How do these movies turn cute to ugly so easily? It looks like an image from a Slayer album. Does anyone sleep after seeing these films? Miles, we are so sorry. We haven't been fair to you from day one. Yeah, the way you guys started picking on him by, this makes no sense. So they decide to chase after Dave to get him his ring back. But they yet again have a babysitter for the babysitter. Cause it worked awesome the first time. I like that he's hairy. Oh, Scruffy's like cute. Hey, hey. Like, hi, I am adorable, but I'm also an animal. The fact that he is a chipmunk just cements my bestiality. They get the ring, but the air marshal finds them again and they disguise themselves as hood ornaments. Yeah, that's the movie I would reference there. They escape yet again, though, and make it to the restaurant Dave and Samantha are at. Evasive maneuvers! Nutmeg! He shoots his gun! Oh, Alvin, oh, go! Did you hear that? It sounded like somebody yelled Alvin. Because I get a residual check every time somebody does that. They get the ring to Dave, but it turns out it wasn't his, and he had no intention of proposing. You're not proposing? I'm sorry, Samantha. I'm, I'm not. No offense, I just saw Heartbreakers and you were weird in it. So... I was holding it for my sound engineer. Will you marry me? A breath mint? Well, we just killed a man's dreams. <laughs> and the man? The only reason we're not headed back to LA right now is because I have to be here. <sighs> just say it, the only reason you're not doing anything is because you're lazy. You're so lazy there's somehow 20 minutes left even though the movie should obviously be over. What the hell is there even left to fill it with? A total eclipse of the heart. Yes, God knows there's not enough singing in this. They remember there's Chipettes in this movie, but they're off hosting American Idol. And admit it, it's been so long since you've seen it, you had to remind yourself if Chipmunks actually hosted it at some point. They did. Alvin gets their help as they arrive to the show and hijack whoever the hell was going to perform before they arrived. They sabotage a lot in this movie, don't they? Alice? Barry has something he'd like to ask you. Again. They set up the proper engagement this time, leading to the words every proposal should include. Thanks, Chipmunks. No marriage starting with those words is gonna be alright. As they sing one last song for Dave. Even in your mistakes, give affection. <laughs> Look at that Ashley girl. She's like, yeah, I can pretend I'm into this. Please welcome the Chipmunks! Who I'm just realizing are pointless because we already won Dave over. We got him for the trailer though, we can sucker more kids in with that. We're so sorry we came to Miami without telling you. We just didn't want to lose you. Is, is that what you guys think? We already did this, didn't we? Wasn't the whole movie about them learning that? Guy Pierce from Memento has a better memory than you guys. I mean, I, I know I haven't really been around much lately and things are changing for us. But what can I say? We Bear Bears is just more fun than you. And I promise to be a better dad from here on out. What are you talking about, Dave? You're the best dad we could ever have. Nobody abandons us and gets less and less screen time with every passing film like you. The chipmunks and Miles get along. He even goes to a party with Ashley. There's only one last thing to wrap up. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, do you agree to this adoption? Adoption? <gasps> yeah, this has technically been a kidnapping for several years. I figure at least I should be legally ignoring you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Where am I supposed to be looking? Yeah, whatever. When do I say the thing to wrap up this nightmare? <laughs> I want a separation! So there it is, the final Chipmunk movie, and full disclosure, it is technically the best one, but that's kind of like squirrel shit being better than dog shit. It's still shit. The writing actually has a few good lines, there's better pacing than the other movies. And even with the absence of David Cross, the only funny part of the other films, it still did manage to get a few laughs. But that's the key word, few. It's still mostly unfunny, unfocused, gimmicky, and all around pointless. 
If you got little kids, I guess it's fine to put on as a harmless distraction, but for the rest of us, this is a bit of chipmunk feces we won't be missing anytime soon. I'm the Nostalgia Critic, and this was the final chipmunk movie! Shut it down! Shut it down forever! I remember it, and now I'm gonna try to forget it. It's not working! I have a reason to believe there's a fugitive chipmunk in your beard. Hey, Doug Walker here. Uh, if you've been watching the news, you probably know that Hurricane Dorian has been hitting the Bahamas and has just been leaving a long trail of devastation. Uh, so the charity we're going to do this week is Heart to Heart. Uh, if you go to their website, you'll see that they have a... Um, uh, section right on the front page that says if you want to give uh, to the helping uh, the victims of Hurricane Dorian, you can do that. You can donate. Uh, please definitely think about going there and donating. I mean, again, if you watch the news, you see all the terrible things that have been going on down there. So uh, definitely go check it out. Open up your heart and see what you can give. Thank you guys so much.